morning. Today is Thursday, March 26th. You'll notice that today is the fourth Thursday of the month, and it's the last Thursday of the month. Do you see that there's not another date tag under the number 26? Happy last Thursday! Today is the 26th of March. Let's look at the number 26 together. Is 26 even or is it odd? It's an even number because it ends with a 6. The other side of our card shows us that the 2 was representing two groups of 10. 10, 20. And the leftover ones over here have 6. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Hi class, let's look at our 100s chart. Do you see that I've turned over a whole row? Do you think that you can count those numbers without seeing them? Hmm, we can try. What's the very first number? Which number would this be? That's right, it's six. We're going to skip count by 10, starting at the number 6. 6, 16, 26, 36, 46, 56, 66, 76, 86, and 96. What would be the next number? 106. I would like for you to practice counting money today. I would like for you to get a little pile of money with pennies and nickels and dimes in it. And I would like for you to practice. First step was we always separate the nickels and the pennies and the dimes from each other. And we start with our biggest coin. So if you have dimes in your pile, you'll start counting your dimes. And you count those by 10. And when you get to the nickels, you'll start counting by five. And then your pennies, you'll count by one. Here are some more coins. Let's count them together. Do you remember what the first thing is that we do? The first thing that we do is we separate our coins. We find all the ones that look alike and we put those ones together. I'm finding all of the nickels and putting them together. And then I'm finding the pennies and I'm putting those together. Oh, and here are some dimes. How much is a penny worth? That's right, it's worth one. So when we count those, we have to count by one. How much is a nickel worth? Those are the ones with the beaver on it. They're worth five cents. And how much is a dime worth? Our dimes have ships on them. They are worth 10 cents. Let's count our money together. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72. So how much money do we have? We have 72 cents. Let's practice skip counting by two. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and 24. Do you want to sing some more? Yes. Let's skip count 8. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56. 64, 72, 80, 88, 96, now we're counting the eights. We're going to practice our clocks today and we're going to look at the half hour. Right now our clock is telling us 2 o'clock. In order for it to be 2.30, our minute hand has to go halfway around the clock. Some people call this half past 2. This is 2.30. 3 o'clock. What time is it now? The hour hand is halfway between the 3 and the 4. That means it is 
3.30. I know it's 3.30 because the minute hand is pointing to the 6. And the hour hand is between the 3 and the 4. What time is it? It's 4 o'clock. What time is it? It's 4.30 or half past 4. I'd like for you to take a look at clocks today in your house. Do you have one that has hands and a face? I would like for you to practice telling time on your clock. 